So I'm here with my C300. Uh, what I have to do today is change the blower motor for the air conditioning and the heat. The motor stopped working uh, just, a, just a couple days ago. Um, you turn the heat on, you can smell the heat, but uh, you, you get no, uh, no air coming out. So um, we're gonna go ahead and step through how to change that. It's pretty simple. I did it two years ago. I bought a cheap blower motor on Amazon for 50 bucks, but since it only lasted two years, uh, I went out and got a different one this time. So hopefully it's a little bit better. I'll show you that in just a minute. So here's the new blower motor I got. I got this from FCP Euro. Um, I like going there because they have lifetime uh, warranties on their parts. So if you ever have an issue, you can always uh, get a new one and send back the old one. Um, so the blower motor is actually on the passenger side. Um, like in most cars, it's uh, underneath the glove box. So I'm gonna have to take this panel off here and uh, I'll walk through that in a minute. But if you really wanna see it, um, I took this, uh, this duct off that was inside right right above the battery there and you can see the uh, blower motor right in there so you can't take it out from the engine bay so you have to get underneath the uh, glove box to take it out so let's walk through that process so in the passenger side underneath the glove box there's a uh, cover that needs to come off to access the uh, the blower motor and that's this cover right here um, so there are there's one screw right here it's an allen head screw I have to use a 764 spit and uh, the other the other one is right there with the allen head screw on it so that cover is going to come down the, uh, the light that you see right above there is going to be connected. You'll have to disconnect that. Be careful not to uh, just pull it off and pull the wires out. Um, and then that'll expose the blower. So let's start taking the, uh, the cover off. So there were actually three screws. There was one more in the middle. So now uh, that I got those three screws out, pull this down. And you see the connection here for the light. So just go ahead and disconnect uh, the electrical uh, harness right here. And uh, then you can uh, go ahead and you'll have access right here to the blower. So uh, we'll disconnect that harness now. So the little harness, uh, you just have to push down on this little tab uh, where my thumb is. And uh, that releases the... Uh, the harness from uh, from where the bulb is uh, so then you can just pull the uh, cover out um, and, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get to the, uh, the blower motor so now you can see the blower motor is here the electrical connection is here so you should be able to pinch the sides of the connector and pull down and that connector comes off. And then to get the actual motor out, you have to rotate the motor. So if you grab the motor at the base and turn it to the right, it's gonna start to rotate. So once it rotates far enough, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and pull it down and out of the way. So it looks like I have to disconnect this connector as well. There's a, a little tab here on this side that you push in and you should be able to pull it down and free it. All right, so I got that disconnected. That was actually just a connected to the side of the blower itself. Um, it slides onto the end. So um, 
I'm gonna have to disconnect that to make sure when I put it on the the, the new blower that uh, I don't break the tab like I just did there. So releasing the 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 connector allowed me to turn it a little bit more, and now the uh, the blower should be able to come down without too much trouble. And then we can get the the new blower in there. So there's the old one coming out, and we'll start putting the new one in. So I got the blower hanging down, but it's still uh, still got a wire harness connection here. So um, this connector has a little tab right in the front that can be uh, pulled to the side and then the connector gets pushed uh, in that direction and then uh, we'll slide off of that tab. So you'll have to put it on that tab on the new uh, blower as well. So let me get that so off. Here's the new motor. Um, the, uh, the tab for that uh, purple connector to slide onto is right here. So I'm um, just going to uh, pick up the motor and uh, slide that purple uh, connector right into that tab and get it back the way it was uh, on the old one. So there it is. The purple uh, connector is on the tab and now the motor's just hanging. Um, so the next thing I want to do is put the other connector. Um, so this connector goes on the tab uh, right here. Um, there's a little more light. Um, so let me go ahead and slide the connector onto that tab. Uh, just like the slides on, similar to how the purple connector slid on. So let me slide that connector on and then uh, and then we'll make that connection right. as well. So we got our second connector in place. Um, and the next thing to do is actually plug in this connector to the, uh, the black connector. So um, if you slid it on correctly, then the, uh, the connection um, is right here on the bottom. So you should be able to easily plug that in. So now I got the motor up and in place. Um, so what you're going to want to do is once you get it up there, you're going to see that there is, it may be tough to see, there's uh, this, uh, this area here, which is a little duct that lines up with uh, this here, which is uh, another ducted area which ends up going into the uh, into the dashboard so um, so once you get it in then you got to turn it to your left to be able to uh, make sure it's sitting in the right spot and what should happen is the two ducks uh, end up lining up so let me try to get that done all right I was having trouble turning it with this uh, this purple connector uh, on there. So um, once you get it up and in there again, um, like I have it, turn it to the left and then it locks in. So you can see this is the, uh, this is the little duct area that lines up with the duct that's up underneath there. Um, and in the process of trying to put this on, I broke the little connection here but um, it's not a big deal because uh, it's, it's a sturdy connection. Um, so uh, so we'll, we'll just leave that and then we'll get this, uh, this purple one back where it needs to be, which is uh, right here on this connection. And then we'll go ahead and turn it on. Oop, I just take it off. And, uh, and see how it see how it works. Now I'm gonna put this cover back on. So just uh, don't forget to connect that uh, that harness back there back to the light bulb, and then uh, and then you can put your cover in and then uh, put your three screws back in too. So uh, I'm gonna start working on that. So I'm looking at the back of the cover, and the back of the cover actually gets tucked up. Uh, behind the car 
carpet right back there. So um, carpet's easy to, to pull forward. Um, once once you pull it forward, then you tuck the uh, the back end of that cover uh, behind the carpet, and then you can go ahead and put your three screws in place. All right. So that's how that should look once you're finished uh, getting the carpet up over the back side of that cover. Um, and then the next thing to do is to put in the three screws. So we've got uh, one on either end and one in the middle. So uh, let me just get those in and then we should be good to give it a test. I'm starting with the screw in the middle. Uh, it seemed like the easiest one to do because I could see really well where it, uh, where, where it went into, um, and then, um, and then I'll go ahead and work my way over to the, uh, the screws on the ends. So you see the hole there. Um, just give it a push to make sure it's lined up correctly and then start the screw by hand and then go ahead and finish it off with the Allen wrench. Um, and then we just have one more left, uh, which is all the way on the other side. like it's getting in there. All right, that should be tight. We can go ahead and give it a try with the actual heat on. So now that I got the new blower in, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a try. So I'm gonna start it up. And I hear the blower already. So we'll crank it up. It looks like all the connections are good. Um, I feel the heat coming out on my feet. I'm gonna change it to max cool. So it looks like everything's good, everything's been connected right, and we now have heat or air conditioning. So that's it on changing the blower.